Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tiki Live Help Desk. Today we're going to show you how you're able to broadcast on Tiki Live better than radio using Winamp. It's a free download and with it you only need the Shoutcast plugin. In our manual page we provide the links for where you're able to download them, but they're also available on the Winamp.com website. Once these are downloaded, configuration is simple. All it takes is copying and pasting the credentials from the back end of your account under the Broadcast Now tab and then putting them into the program. Then you're able to use your microphone to star live on your radio broadcast as well as broadcast any music that's live in the player. So now we're going to walk you through the steps for setting up your Winamp player with Shoutcast to configure it to your Tiki Live radio. That way you'll be able to broadcast live on your own channel. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have all the fields filled out under your radio channel. Go to the back end of your account click the My Channels tab in My Radio Channels and then edit your selected channel. The most crucial thing to have filled out is the DJ credentials near the bottom. You make this up yourself so you can put whatever it is that you want. You'll just be copying and pasting it later. Save your settings and click the red Broadcast Now button selecting your radio channel from the drop-down menu. Open the configuration settings for Winamp DJ and these are what you're going to be putting into the program. Next we're going to go to the actual broadcaster. So once Winamp is downloaded, open it up and you'll want to go to Preferences and on the side scroll down to Plugins. Click on DSP slash Effect and then double click on the plugin you installed, Nullsoft Shoutcast Source DSP version 2.3.2. .2. A new window will pop up and you'll insert the login details under Output. This is where you will copy the data from your broadcaster's dashboard and put it into the window. Take your server address, port number, stream ID, DJ username, and password and place these into their respective boxes. Then make sure that the Use Shoutcast Version 1 mode for legacy servers radio option is enabled to use the plugin for radio broadcasting. Next, click the Directory tab and turn off the Make This Stream Public option. Then below that you will need to input the server name. This is the same thing as the radio host name you got from the back end of your account and placed in the previous tab. In the Encoder tab, make sure that the encoder type is set to MP3 Encoder, and if not, you can select it from the drop-down menu. With your microphone or recording device plugged in, click the input tab at the top and open the drop down menu. Here you're going to choose sound card input for your input device. This will select your default recording device as the input option for your broadcast. To make sure that it is set to the correct device, you can check and edit this by clicking the open mixer button below. To actually start talking on your broadcast, you can click the push talk button and hold it or you can also click the lock button to turn on your microphone. Press it again and your microphone will be turned off with your radio channel continuing to play the tracks from your assigned playlist. You can click the push talk button and hold it button to turn on your microphone. Press it again and your microphone will be turned off we always try to make the setup of these third-party broadcasters as simple as possible. So like with our other supported third-party broadcasters, it's just pasting information and making sure that the, your settings are correct. This is one of two options that we provide for you to broadcast live. So if Winamp isn't your type of program, we also offer use through Virtual DJ as an online mixing software. This has been another episode of the Tiki Live Help Desk where we show you, as the broadcaster, how you're able to broadcast live on your own radio channel using Winamp. Keep a lookout for more content coming out soon, and we hope to see you live on Tiki Live.